Hello, I'm Eve. Welcome to Vistronic. Today I want to show you how easy it is to set up the rotary axis. So, previously I already moved out both tables so that we have space to put in the axis and the tube. So I'm removing the cover. Here we have our um, rotary axe. Here we have the counterpoint. So I will add those three tubes to clamp at the end of the tube. It will push it together. Then we can lower it into position. Here on the back side of the machine, we are connecting those three hoses so now we are mechanically somehow prepared to continue this process now we have here our cutting plan where you see a square profile and we have here always an assistant helping us step by step to do this so first we have to raise here the rotary axis to the position so in order to do that we are moving here as you can see this is coming up and on the other hand on the screen i can see where i am the current position and where i have to go so now we are set the next thing is to put the tail stock at the same height than the rotary axe. So that's the same way. We have a small screw that we can move it up all the way to control where we are. We are just controlling with in the front that both are more or less in the same height. That doesn't need to be very precise. So like this, that's perfect. We are in correct position. Now the machine is telling us on which position in X to put the tailstock. So we are moving on the position here, 360. That's perfect. So now we have to add a material inside the machine. So if we have just a short tube, like in this case, it's quite easy. We are opening here the chuck. And we are clamping our tube. Here I can adjust the pressure, how strong we are clamping the tube. Of course, if we have a thin stainless steel tube, we are not putting a lot of pressure. If we will have a heavy duty tube, we need to put a lot of pressure in order to hold it. The same thing with the counterpoint here as well. We can adjust the pressure not to squeeze the tube too much or not to lower it too much. So if we have a long tube to be loaded here on the back side of the machine, we have this box. Here we have a scale, that's for round tubes. So we put inside of that the round tubes. As well, if we have a long tube, the machine will tell us on which number to go here. In case if we are using square tubes, we always use this kind of plates. You put this inside here and the tubes can turn. So this box here has two points. One point is to make sure that we have no radiation of the light coming outside. And second, to support your tube perfectly for cutting. So now we are theoretically completely set up. We can start to cut to build it back. It's exactly the same way as we build it uh, up. So within a few minutes, everything is ready. You can cut and that's it. Thanks for watching and have a good day.